Marvel Spider-Man 2 will introduce the ability to switch between the two wall crawlers in the open world. And, thanks to the power of the PlayStation 5, you can make that switch almost instantly. I'm so loving this. Oh, me too. And of course, unlocking additional spider suits. And we're talking lots and lots of suits. Now dig on this. By any chance, did I forget to mention that there was going to be a Marvel Spider-Man 2 trailer during the state of play? Because there totally was! But regardless, welcome back True Believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans to, yes, a very unexpected but extremely exciting Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video. However, it is one that I was already aware of was bound to happen. So, in case you are unaware, I was invited as well as a plethora of other awesome content creators to a Marvel Spider-Man 2 preview event earlier this week where I actually got to play the game for myself. But if you want to learn about all the gameplay details as well as see some new footage about the game and hear about my hands-on impressions about what I thought about it, stay tuned tomorrow morning at AAM PST on Friday, September 15th for a lot of awesome Marvel Spider-Man 2 coverage. But for today, they actually showed off the overview trailer for Marvel Spider-Man 2, which was shown to all of us content creators and press during the Marvel Spider-Man 2 preview event before we actually got to play the game for ourselves. And in this trailer, we get to see a lot of the open world New York, a lot of side activities, some combat, a little bit of the story here and there, and just kind of give you a taste as to what you can expect within Marvel Spider-Man 2, as well as showcasing exactly how this game is going to differentiate itself from the previous Insomniac Spider-Man games that we have already seen with Spider-Man PS4, the remaster on the PS5, and of course, Miles Morales. But I am very excited to dive into this trailer again with all of you and point out some things that either you may have missed or just kind of go into further detail as to what they exactly they show in the trailer itself. It's almost four minutes long, but it is filled with nothing but hype. Go. The Advanced Suit 2.0. Miles' Venom Blast. The new, the blue lightning looks awesome. The lizard, the symbiote. Oh my god. All right. Here we go. This is Brian Intahar. Brian! Senior creative director at Love little games. symbiote on his name tag. Thank you for all of your amazing feedback to our demo at the showcase earlier this yep, year. Yep, the one that we've seen a Marvel million Spider times at this point. With an amazing story and story missions. But today I'm here to provide you with a first look at how the open world experience is evolving. God! And how the game is built to take full advantage of the PlayStation The 5. city looks amazing. The first thing you'll notice is that our city has nearly doubled in size with the addition of Twice the size! Burrows, Just how Queens big the map is. And we've introduced the web wings. So cool. The mechanic that, when combined with web swinging, allows you to traverse the city in a whole new way and at faster speeds than ever They're before. They're going so fast. Whether it's a neighborhood backdrop of Queens or the fireworks. I'm just in sky, awe, like, seeing Island. this again. Exploring these areas will feel much different than the towering skyscrapers of Manhattan. Gorgeous. While also delivering memorable... Peter and Harry! The, the football field! Ultimate, Ultimate Spider-Man vibes! Miles Miles Brooklyn! Broken Visions Academy. Oh, it's hey, gonna be Miles, so cool to that? just hang Speaking around the school heroes, campus. Marvel Spider-Man 2 will introduce yeah. the ability to switch between the two walls. The friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app is back. And thanks to the power of the PlayStation 5, you can make that switch almost instantly. The GTA 5 yeah. character yeah. transitions yeah. are yeah. real, yeah. everybody. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. Switch yeah. instantly yeah. between them, and they'll do this stuff in the environment. Equally important to provide a greater sense of the tag team combat. So sick. The main story. A number of new activities. The web wings, they're so fast. Events. The majority of those will now be represented by visual cues in the world that grab your attention. Dynamic weather such too, with the rain. Talon drone circling a building. A mysterious symbol. Mysterio confirmed. Sky. That is crazy. That was wild. Many activities. Like the web wings flying around, doing together, all the different side activities too. Yet yield worthy rewards and new information about Marvel's great. The advanced suit looks great. Further. Others will lead to a climactic the showdown. The details Marvel on the character models are insane. Spider-Man universe. Venom! Oh my god. Tech in the this is so exciting. Providing Look at the HUD! And the UI too? Or helping locate so new clean. To you can always refer to the upgraded Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man It's back! To quickly track nearby areas of interest. The app will also include incoming requests from those who call Marvel's New York home. All the side activities and everything, there's so much more detail. The tag others, team moves! Like the students of oh man! Calling upon Miles will require you to put on the mask of a specific hero. All these activities so clean. The spider arms. Various enemy factions also now feed into the new district progress system, which even provides more. Look at this fast travel. Brand new fast travel system. 
As you that is here, so clean! Oh, it's smooth! The city, and it has a little, downtown. like, where you are on the map on the bottom the left. I love that. And the more activities you complete, got the air tricks! To customize your spider hero. Oh this my god! Additional oh. combat abilities and traversal skills. The UI and the menu. Improving gadgets, yep. Upgrading through the new suit tech system. And of course, unlocking additional Of course, suits. so many people and are going to be so excited for this. And of course, the main one, Bully Maguire confirmed, and everybody. No need to panic. The all He's there. System. You'll now have the color variants, the Prowler the suit's back. That's a superior Spider-Man suit, the classic suit. Half of Insomniac Games, Very cool designs. More excited about what this expanded city 2099. And all the new ways you'll experience Marvel's New York. Oh, the tag team moves with the Iron Spider arms are Marvel's crazy. When it launches the black suit! Only on PlayStation 5. Not a lot of black suit in this overview trailer. I wonder why. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're there. Oh, we're there. October 20th, we're there. I mean, how cool was that like seriously everything that insomniac have said within previous interviews have discussed in interviews at like comic-con and even what they were saying at the preview event just shows how much they listen in insomniac we trust is said for a reason on this channel and of course amongst diehard spider-man ps4 and miles morales ps5 fans because they genuinely care about the character of Spider-Man, but they also know exactly what works in terms of gamers and what they expect for a brand new next generation exclusive installment within this franchise, but taking it up a notch and to the nth degree with the environments looking so much more visually appealing, the traversal looking so much faster with the web swinging and the web wings, the environments and the side activities being completely filled out and detailed with as much content as you can possibly imagine, and of course connecting all that to the story with Peter and Miles and the other supporting cast members like Harry and the other people that you'll be able to meet along the way, just all of it having a purpose and all of it, all of it mattering and having context within the world of Marvel's New York, but also for a gamer, not making it feel like your time is wasted. There's always going to be something to do within the city, like what they were talking about, not just for my impressions, but in that video, Brian was saying, like, there's the content with the mysterious logo, which is totally a Mysterio eye lens, which is so cool. Uh, the photos, uh, you know, finding different items, finding new suits, interacting with other characters, so much stuff to experience and explore, and it's just gonna be an amazing, amazing time. But, as to what exactly that is going to be like, I don't want to kind of spoil it too much before the actual embargo lifts. Again, tomorrow, Friday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, September 15th, be here on this channel. I'm going to do a live YouTube video premiere to just get you all amped up for the experience and show you everything that Marvel Spider-Man 2 has to offer. Again, huge, huge, huge thank you to PlayStation and Insomniac for inviting me out to the preview event to witness this trailer and the game itself hands-on. Literally a, a fan's dream come true. I couldn't be more thankful to them and to all of you for making all this possible in the first place. So, with all that said, everybody, that is the video I have for all you today. Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about this brand new trailer for Marvel Spider-Man 2 during the state of play? What excites you the most? Are you hyped for tomorrow? Is October 20th here already? <laughs> Not yet, but we're pretty darn close. But until then, everybody, thank you all so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. And until next time, peace out. Double time! It turns out I'm a liar, I guess, because apparently after Insomniac revealed the State of Play trailer for Marvel Spider-Man 2, they also revealed the Digital Deluxe Edition Suits trailer, which, of course, if you don't know, the Digital Deluxe Edition for Marvel Spider-Man 2 comes with 10 brand new costumes, as well as a plethora of extra goodies like photo mode options, skill points, and other stuff. However, if you guys know me, I'm not really too keen on the alternate suits within the game, and instead I will primarily wear each of the characters' default looks. Even though the Raimi suit in the Bully Maguire attire is in the game, I am primarily going to be wearing Insomniac's original black suit design first, 
then probably replay the game later on while wearing all the different alternate costumes. However, based on the images that we have seen of these suits, I'm not really too keen on the majority of them, if not any of them, but it still is going to be interesting to see exactly what they look like in motion, and of course, if you are a suit connoisseur yourself, you probably will want to get the Digital Deluxe Edition, just so that you have the entire array of Spider-Man outfits at your disposal when you are playing the game. But again, right here, Digital Deluxe Edition trailer, a minute, 14 seconds, let's dive right in. 3, 2, 1, go. Interesting music. Okay, here are the suits. Oh, the lizard! Okay! Five for Peter. That's right. 25th, Apocalyptic. Hopefully this isn't copyrighted music. Love the Iron Spider arms in the combat. At first I was kind of iffy. They look cool in motion. They're showing a lot of different scenes. Oh, the lizard again! Alright. Okay, there's Peter's. I, I like, I think like one out of five of them. Oh, that's awesome! Stopping a roller coaster and five for miles. Peter and him together, that's dope. Okay. Cool. These scenes are awesome where they're where they're at right now. Looks super cool. That one I think it might be my favorite for miles. My mechanical one's cool. That takedown with him breakdancing is awesome. Wow. I think this might be the opening of the game. How it's shot in that scene. It looks very like open cinematic style for Marvel Spider-Man 2, similar to the first game with Peter and then Miles where he's swinging towards also Peter. But interesting. Yeah, so that was the digital deluxe edition suits. Again, I was more interested in the scenes that they were there with the lizard, which may or may not be in tomorrow's video, as well as the, the boat. Looks like they're stopping like a giant ship or something. And, and the roller coaster on Coney Island, that looks super cool. So, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Showing some other set pieces in the game while also marketing the different suits that will be featured in the Digital Deluxe Edition to try and incentivize purchases, which is very, very cool, especially if you are, again, a massive suit fan, you'll definitely want to consider picking this one up. But again, now I think that is the end of the video, everybody. Let me know all your thoughts. Which suit was your favorite? What did you think of the overview trailer? And are you hyped for Marvel Spider-Man 2? But again, thank you all so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. And until next time, for real, peace out.